Hello again guys and uh, this is our second uh, video tutorials for for animation uh, for uh, rather for character design this is the first part because the first uh, video is just an intro introductions for this uh, tutorial series so <clears throat> we're gonna start uh, working on character design now uh, I did some uh, I did uh, a sketch. Uh, uh, I do it in uh, Manuri. And if you want to draw or to create your character in Photoshop, it's uh, it's also fine. Okay, but for me, I rather do a sketch and scan it. Okay, just give me a second, and I'm gonna post this video because I'm gonna scan the characters. Yeah. All right, guys, I'm back. Um, I scan my. Uh, my sketch, uh, you know, I post uh, the video so that it's it save uh, uh, time. So I'm gonna minimize this. Uh, just a simple character design of a little girl. Okay. Okay. So what we have to do now is we're gonna import this into Flash. Flash, and now. Um, uh, Okay, um, we're gonna collapse this. We don't need this. We don't need this anymore. And I'm gonna create a new layer. Okay, so so we're gonna name this guy. Okay, okay. in the library, uh, we're gonna delete this this one so so that uh, our files is clean to in the library and <clears throat> so this video is uh, the first part it's a part one of character designing so now uh, let's uh, import the character designs that we did okay so just simply highlight the layer then simply drag inside the stage Okay, so we have this, uh, we have now, and press letter Q to, you know, to transform or to resize the image. Control positive and control negative to, you know, to adjust the stage. Okay, so, so here is our uh, character designs. In, inside the, the stage now so what we're what I'm going to do now is I'm I want to break this apart okay so control B to break this apart then <clears throat> okay select the selection tool or the shortcut key as letter B on your keyboard right, right. we're gonna at the characters the reason why that uh, I break apart the image is for us you know to to cut the uh, edges because if you can if you're not uh, break this apart you cannot cut the image okay so now I'm gonna highlight this and uh, I'm gonna <coughs> press 8 okay I'm gonna name this guy. Uh, I leave uh, as a graphic symbol because okay. we're not working on a uh, website. Our output is this is for uh, animation purposes, animation production. Because uh, after we do the characters and we after we finish all the parts, the body parts of the of our characters, we're going to to animate this. So, okay, <clears throat> okay. So our stage size is uh, 550 by 400 pixels. Okay, so we're gonna readjust this, adjust the uh, character. Okay, now uh, I go back to 
selection tool uh, that's letter B on your keyboard then uh, so go to color effects it's a style then press the style then you can see uh, first uh, three selections there actually it's a five selections so none brightness tint advanced and alpha so what what I need is I just want to to make this as guide so I want this only to to make that transparent okay so I choose the alpha then I'm gonna adjust it okay the, the purpose of this is uh, just a guide so I leave it as uh, 50 percent okay as you can see okay this serves as a guide okay then I'm gonna lock this layer then don't forget to save your files Control s okay <clears throat> gonna collapse the uh, untitled uh, scene so that we concentrate on working on this one okay so in working in character design working in character design so we have uh, as you can see um, we have a head here so each part uh, we have to create uh, separate layers separate layers uh, you can see it uh, uh, on the timeline okay and this is the layer when we create a layer we're gonna click the layer okay so for now so we're gonna create for the layer let's start working on the head okay so so the head the the right the, the right arm and the body and the leg so we have to create those layers separate layers so for now let's concentrate in creating the head section I'm gonna name the layer head okay <clears throat> I'm gonna press on your keyboard press control positive and negative for you to you know to work closely to the character so as you can see uh, we need to create first the base of the head okay inside the head we have uh, a parts of the eyes the eyebrows the nose the mouth and the hair and the the back hair okay you know and also the neck the neck okay so okay so let's start uh, working for this so first thing is uh, one of the important thing is working in the character is you, you have to trace it we have to trace it as a vector output flash is a vector output okay just like the illustrator is a vector output so we're gonna use uh, a hairline just for the outline we're gonna use the hairline that's a uh, point one so okay I gonna turn off the fill color and uh, for now I just uh, I'm going to use the uh, color red for the outline then you can press the important key to press here we're going to use is letter B that's the selection tool and letter N letter N is the line tool okay it's a shortcut key the line tool and also the holding the alt key um, uh, is also one of the important okay the alt key uh, in tracing a character uh, that's also one that's also another tools uh, uh, the usable tools in tracing a character so okay so <coughs> let's start <coughs> okay selection tool I'm gonna adjust the uh, this is a one percent so I'm gonna change this to 0.1 percent okay so now as you can see okay this is uh, a hairline okay so let's get a work for that okay 
as you can see when you mouse over you can see an icon you can see an icon there okay you can see an icon there uh, you know an oval it means that you can bend over it okay mm. holding the alt key okay hold the alt key and it makes uh, you to to have a points okay by holding the alt key we're gonna establish first the points here okay we're building the pace of the character Okay, I'm gonna cut this one, then highlight, then delete, press delete key. Okay. Now, now we start uh, using the uh, the curve line, okay, in order to the head of the character have a shape on its own form. Okay. When you mouse over, you can see. Uh, Control positive on your keyboard. Okay. Make sure that you work as uh, So now, uh, these two lines, uh, we're gonna erase that uh, later. So I'm gonna give it a, a different color, so that I know what to cut, what to what portion, what lines do I have to cut. Okay. So now, so we already finished the uh, the head base. Okay. So now we're gonna nest it. Okay. What, what what does it mean uh, to be nested? It means that we're gonna make the head as one symbol. So inside the one symbol, graphic symbol, inside of the head symbol, uh, we have to put, we have to create the eyes, the eyebrows, the hair, uh, the back hair. Okay, so the mouth. So we have to compile uh, to create a file. A symbol rather in the whole the whole the, the whole the whole parts of the head okay so let's do it now so after selecting uh, the head uh, layer okay on your timeline so we have to press letter F8 okay graphic symbol we called it head compile call it head or oh, we have uh, head comp. Okay, I just leave the uh, registration point at the center. So now um, it's in the graphic symbol already, as you can see. When you when I click this and you you can check this, it's a graphic symbol on your properties inspector. Then the instance. Uh, the name of the character is either the name of the symbol is the head comb. That's what uh, we did before. Okay. <clears throat> so. Okay. So we're gonna work inside the base uh, of the head. Okay. Now that in that we're inside of the head, so as you can see, okay, yeah, I'm gonna. Be, and see closely we have a, um, we have here a, a shadow and inside the shadow uh, we have the eyebrows here so but for now let's start to work with the base okay I'm gonna give uh, I'm gonna use uh, different colors for the outlines for the shadow
a hold the alt key and working Okay, use the selection tool, then erase the line, delete the lines that uh, you're, in, you're in, uh, not needed for the uh, for, for the shadows. Okay, remember that you're in uh, you're on a selection tool, then press delete key after you highlight it. Okay, work uh, carefully. Okay. Then cut the you know this one, uh, the outer line. Okay. So now uh, let's uh, give a, a tone skin our character. You go here uh, on your selection area. This is the selection area on the left corner. Then you can select. Uh, the colors of the skin. I'm gonna give the character. Let's give uh, her uh, Asian skin. Yeah. Let's give this. Okay. So. Okay. Let's put this uh, reverse the color. Then uh, okay. So now uh, let's remove the uh, outline for the shadow. Then let's remove this too. So so now that. Uh, we created a base of the character here. Uh, so we're going to replace the color of uh, the outline of the character. Okay, uh, this is the fill stroke. Okay, let's give it uh, uh, not not too much dark. Oh, it's too dark. Let's give it the, this one. Okay. Okay. So now that we have a base base. Uh, we're gonna press letter G, control letter G to group it. Okay, <clears throat> so okay, so for now we, we have a character, uh, character base. Um, okay, I'm gonna pause for this video and uh, I'm gonna continue working for this for the uh, the second part uh, of this video is uh, we're gonna work on the uh, we're gonna work on the uh, on the hair okay on the hair okay so I'll be back on the second video.